now for EFDD, Bill Etheridge. Thank you. So, we have to protect ourselves from these evil Russians who are controlling the internet, do we? Who are sending misinformation, who single-handedly won the referendum on Brexit because of their bots, apparently. But we don't worry at all about the fact that actually what this could lead to is censorship and control of free speech. We talk about power. The power of the establishment forces over the mainstream media is unparalleled. You look at the BBC in the UK, one of the largest, if not the largest, distributes run to the internet. Highly biased in favour of the state. That's okay because it's not an anti-EU force. What we're looking at here is very, very dangerous. Of course, Facebook and other profiles need to weed out bots and so on and so forth. But if you give the state power, if you give laws, rules and regulations this way to clamp down, who is using them? Just imagine for a second if a right of centre, pro-capitalist, anti-green lobby took control of the European Union. Just imagine it. Horrifying, isn't it? And if that were to happen, and they suddenly clamped down on the free speech on the internet of people protesting against that, how would you feel? Is it not conceivable that we should allow people the right and the freedom to express themselves? We always hear about freedoms here. What's more important than the freedom of expression and freedom of speech? In my opinion, there is nothing greater and there are many people, if not most people in this room, who I disagree with. But I would be the first to man the barricades and fight to defend your right to express your opinions however you choose to do it. Thank you very much, Mr. Etheridge. Would you like to accept the blue card question from Pavel Talichka? Yes, Pavel, please. Uh, for taking the question. Uh, I mean, uh, I would uh, definitely uh, agree with you on the question of freedom of expression, but uh, I did not detect in your uh, remarks any concern regarding, uh, let's say, possible cyber attacks from the East or elsewhere uh, with interference into European and any other elections. So my question is, do you share that concern? And if you do, how would you tackle it in terms of means to f confront that risk and how would you minimize it? Thank you. Thank you for the question. It's a, it's a well put question. I do share that concern. I don't want interference from any agency that gets in the way of free elections. But if it were a choice between the risk, because life is all about risks, if it were the risk between giving up that ability for people to freely express themselves and freely make their views and the risk between the state and potentially a road towards totalitarianism, I choose the risk involved in free speech, but I do accept that we do need to try our best to avoid foreign agencies.